Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing Hearts of Iron 4 Democracy Edition with the United States. I forgot who I was playing as. So, last time we have begun in to be engaged in a war with the Empire of Japan. And they have a huge freaking navy. My gosh. A really huge navy. Actually, we've done some pretty good damage to them. They've lost, like... I would say maybe around 30 ships at least. Uh, they have a lot of convoys, but they've also sunk quite a few of our ships as well. Most notably, five very, very early battle ships, unfortunately. But what I've done is I've made all my ships pretty much try to engage at low risk. Basically, when they will win. Uh, subs are doing the same thing, but they're convoy rating because there's a lot of convoys around here. And our strike force has been very, very much decimated, to be honest with you. <clears throat> We lost a lot of screens, which is actually extremely concerning. You have to have screens in this uh, naval meta. In all of the Paradox games, you got to have screens in your ship uh, fleets. So. <coughs> Excuse me. My apologies. I didn't mean to sneeze. Regardless, I have sent whatever reserves we had from screens up here in Washington. And they are going to come join the Battle Force fleet down here. So hopefully that will help our screens out. We are repairing a little bit, but... Uh, carriers, I've been told, are both overpowered as well as underpowered. If you're fighting an enemy that does not use carriers, you will do very, very well. If you fight an enemy that does very, very well, let's just hope you have battleships. So that's really the crux of what I've understood so far. But I did tab over to the Japanese tab just to see what the Japanese uh, military was thinking. And they have... Divisions all over the fleet, or all over the sea, I should say. And they are going to try to navally invade several locations. Obviously, that's pretty much to be expected. We have discovered some... Oh, God. This is this fleet. I did check. It has four carriers, two battleships, three heavy cruisers, three light cruisers, and 33 destroyers, which actually sounds like a pretty good group. The AI generally knows what, we, what naval meta is better to use than most of us. So they have a ca total of nine capital ships versus 36. Actually, that makes perfect sense. Because you want, for every capital ship, you want four screens. That's actually an extremely good fleet. That is honestly very hard to kill. Because we didn't really know the naval meta as well. But here's something I will tell you. We have to have airplanes. One of the ways we will win this war is by maximizing our air bases. Or at least starting to build some air bases. So that's why I've set my ships to engage only when it's favorable. Because we have to build up air bases. Because right now... The Japanese, they aren't really putting a lot of their focus of uh, convoys and whatnot over here. They're really focusing around Mariana Region, Bismarck Sea, West Emperor Chain. That's really where they're thinking about. And since I don't have any sort of uh, air bases over here, which was a mistake by me. I will admit I made a mistake. Uh, they have pretty good free reign. But we'll try to do the Bismarck Sea because we are doing a little bit of damage. And actually, because Japan is not at war with the Allies, they're getting a bunch of oil from them as well as the Soviet Union. So if the Soviet Union falls, they would still trade with the Germans. So it wouldn't even matter for us. But realistically, we still got to focus on our home front down here. Divisions, but Ecuador, or I guess, no, Peru will be tough because they have a ton of manpower. Quite a few divisions and a few ships. So they're going to be actually pretty tough to hit. Uh, Vichy France has docking rights to Peru. Well, regardless. Well, right now we're just trying to get some ships down here. Uh, we've engaged some of the subs who have destroyed some of our fleet already, unfortunately. And we do have another two carriers over here, but... but this is just our strike force. I, I'm not going to send them out until, unless, until they have eight destroyers at least. But you have... Wait. You should. Be, you, you guys should combine. That would actually make you stronger. Go ahead and combine. Come down here. And we, of course, we lost those three guys. And I did tell some of these guys to not engage enemies around here. Oh, wait. What was that? Uh... Oh, someone can upgrade it, but I'm not going to upgrade them right now since we're at war. I need these ships right now. Oh. Oh, nice. So we sunk one enemy plane and eight convoys. Awesome. 
to be honest, we've been doing a lot of casualties. Like, they've taken a ton of casualties by us, and Chile, surprisingly. And we've only taken 37,000, even though we've lost quite a few ships. You know, whatever. Over here, oh. Oh, that's what you get, Peru, for being a little, a little bitch. That's right, a little bitch. Oh, oh, oh god, they're sending in more, more ships. Come on, send in the ships. Ecuador's dying. Oh, there they are. So, realistically, the way I will win here, even though I don't fully, completely understand the naval meta, I know, oh, I know basically, but not, not like advanced tips. But the way we will win is to starve Japan out, full of resources. Because right now they have about a year left of fuel. They are going down. I did check. But when they run out of fuel, they can obviously cannot use both their planes and ships. And when they can't do that, they can't use them. And what ships they can use, we will be able to destroy. That's why we need planes to destroy more of their ships, destroy a lot of the convoys. And that's ultimately how we will win. I've lost two more destroyers. Awesome. But regardless, I mean, just... If you can destroy the enemy screens... It's so worth it. Because once you run out of screens to attack, you just start attacking the heavier ships. And we've destroyed an early cruiser hull. Awesome. Very cool. Uh, what's going on around here? Not not very much. It just... I don't want to do poorly in front of you guys. Thing is, a lot of people still don't know the naval meta. Myself including. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no, what happened up here? Ships on low strength. Ooh, the Biz... The, no, I almost said Bismarck. The Arkansas. What was that? What that? What's that ship doing? Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm just... Holy! I lost a carrier? What? You gotta realize that actually Japan has the focus where it gives you 20% screen torpedo screen penetration. God dang it, I lost a freaking carrier. Jesus Christ, they must have sent their main battle group here. We were doing so well, but oh god. Oh, that's, that's really not good. Just, you know what? I'm going to tell you not to engage anymore. Do not engage. I need this force to be back up to it. Just everyone repair. I can't afford any more losses. We have to be very careful on what battles we choose to engage in. And, oh, we lost a battleship. God dang it. They have planes. I sh this is, ugh, it's my fault. It's my fault for this. Sunk a convoy. That's good. But it is my fault because I chose not to... Oh, God. Is this, is this the last of the fleet? Oh, no. We still have some over here. And over here. They're all over the place. Which is not good. I have to have more planes, though. Actually... You guys aren't doing anything. If you find anything around here... Uh, wait, I can't use them? I guess they're standing by, but... Huh, whatever. Yeah, I need planes. I need air superiority, really. Oh, we lost six planes. We sunk an enemy cruiser. We lost a, a destroyer. We sunk a plane. Oh my gosh, this is so not good. Sunk a convoy. We, why do we keep losing ships? What the heck? Like, everyone's set to low... Everyone says set to go ahead and leave when you need to. Uh, repairing in Guam. Yeah, I needed to really boost up some of these places. Like, they need more dockyards and whatnot to repair. Oh, my lord. Convoy. And that's why we're playing with the United States. Just in case you make a couple of mistakes. Oh, my gosh. They actually linked up here. Holy crap. Yep. No, 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 no. I need you to engage if you can. Uh, and uh, some of these boys I already made. Yeah, I'm totally not ready for war. I feel like America in 1941. I'm not ready for war. <laughs> Despite me kind of knowing what's going to get, what's going to happen. Uh, a war bonds? That sounds like a good idea. Uh, I don't think we'll actually really be able to win these. Oh my gosh. it's a lot of... God dang, we can't do anything. Jesus Christ. I wanted a normal World War II. That's all I wanted. What is this? Subs? Reinforcing? All right. Oh my gosh. So, we sunk two enemy convoys. Another convoy. Another convoy. We end up... We, how do we lose eight destroyers? Oh my god. Holy crap. Another destroyer. I can't afford these destroyers lost. God dang it. Oh, but we're about to have some airplanes. Oh, thank god. We can finally, hopefully, have some airplanes here. Thank the lord. Oof. Yeah, I can't... I can't deal with these losses, man. I just can't. Can't deal with it. No, no, no. Hmm. Well, you guys are already heading down there. I have any other spare planes? Fighter group? 
Well, at least I've got one. That'll be good. That'll definitely help against naval bombers. Naval bombers are still very, very powerful. And I don't really think there's anything I can really pull over. Oh, that's a carrier group over here. I think my ships are getting sunk because they're they're going different places while trying to dock. Like they're, they're trying to repair at different locations. They're not really working out very well for us. Oh, and actually, Marines too. That's good. Uh, they're repairing. Actually, we've got a lot of. Oh my gosh. Yeah, actually, you don't know, get rid of you. Six hundred twenty-four. Bump these up by twelve. These naval bombers. That's good. So, I'm going to take these uh, hmm, tactical bombers. Y'all come here. And you do the Mariana region. Philippines, South China Sea. Come over here. And do the Eastern Micronesian Sea. This should provide a little bit more cover. Or some cover at all. Oh, wait. Crap. Oh, I'm glad I didn't press time. It's 1941. Half tracks would be okay. Air power would be very nice. But I'm going to do some ground support so I can get some more of this land doctrine stuff. Air doctrine do stuff done. I just keep losing ships. Holy fucking shit. This is so bad. Yeah, engage when you're low. Like, I don't want you to really engage at all. Oh, wait. Do they have, do they have ships here? Hmm. Port strike, please. Seriously, I, don't, I can't. Where are my fighters? I thought I sent some fighters over. Oh, well, we're striking their thing over here. They have uh, early heavy ship hull and three carriers. Yeah, you sunk my carrier. I will sink your carrier. What was that? Oh, something outside. Oh, huh, anyways. Alright, and they are in Guam. Good. Capital armor piercing capped shells. Very nice. Let's see, basic snorkel. Huh. Hmm. Torpedoes would be good. Oh, actually, this stuff you can just do automatically without having to upgrade very much. So you can do a little bit more damage. Now oh, we lost a plane, but that's okay. Alright, so we just gotta make sure we have enough air cover. Yeah, I keep losing ships. This is so not good. So that's 200. This has 100, which is good. Even though, look at the, look at the fighters. I'll research heavy fighters next. And the production of fighters, like, how do you not, wait, you don't have enough factories. What the heck? I don't have enough factories for anything. I mean, I have a ton of artillery because I was going to switch these guys. They already, what the, what, what am I doing? 20, how do I have 22,000 pieces of artillery? Did someone play my game for me? <laughs> oh my gosh. So obviously we gotta take 10 of these guys off. I mean, I need, I need planes. I have to have planes now. Uh, do I, do I not have fighters? These are all ships. Tactical armor, naval, oh, they're the fighters, but they're not doing very much. Uh, rubber, can I trade anyone for rubber? That's, I don't have to use convoys with. Dutch East Indies. Oh, the UK might be okay to do. We don't need nearly as much steel, though. It's better. So we will constantly strike these ports until the enemy runs out of ships. Oh, and they might have just left their ships away. Or maybe not. No. Okay. Interesting. Uh, the whole... Oh! Haiti Division. Well, actually, I'm just going to throw you in Coasts and Defense... Uh, yeah, we gotta make sure we, we're guarding, like... Oh, God, no, I don't want that to get rid of all these guys out here. Uh, just kind of hang out. Hang out. Alexander Patch, you're doing a fine job. You didn't get attacked yet, but you probably will be. Alright, so how's this looking? Not great. I want the tanks to engage first. Over here. Uh, attacking in the mountains is so bad. But thanks. Alright, well, we probably not gonna win this battle. God dang it. Uh, yeah, I need more fighters. I can't believe I didn't make enough fighters for, or anything. I'm so unprepared for this war. Da, da, da. Oh my gosh, what's going on? We lost three subs. We lost another set of subs. Disengage, disengage. I love this button. You can disengage. Yeah, 
good. Just, just engage when you're low, please. Do not really try to kill enemies too much, please. Oh my god, I just told you to disengage, my friends. Uh, maybe the Bismarck Sea is just isn't worth it, then. We're going to concentrate our forces where we know that the enemy definitely is. They can have the Bismarck Sea for now, then. So be it. Oh, come on. 41%, so we are doing a little bit of damage. And 40, 71%. We're doing like 2% damage every time. Which, you know, not great. Not great, but you know. This is really my first... Oh, sunk five subs. First real go at man the guns with you guys. Um, I mean, I've, I've been trying to play it a little bit before, but, you know, this naval meta is... It's something different. I'll let you know that. Oh, nice. We can put some more planes in here, but like I said before, I'm kind of out of planes. Hmm... more. I need more rubber as well. And of course, the UK can't deliver their promises. I'm not going to go to Asia to do that, to get more rubber. So, we're pretty much crap out of luck with that. Oh, uh, well then an oil refinery sounds good. Or I guess, not a rubber refinery now. But whatever. Yep, 68% versus 36. We hopefully will be able to slowly sink an enemy uh, carrier here. And maybe battleship. Oh. We lost this up in exchange for a convoy. That's eh, it's not really worth it in my opinion. Oh, what's happened? Con How the fucking is this Japanese over here? What the heck? Oh my gosh. Well, I guess I'm not getting any rubber then. This is so... Not cool. So not cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, well. Yeah, I'm not trading anything. That's fine. If we have, you know, stalled production, so be it. Uh, I think we're okay with naval bombers. Let's switch this around a little bit. Carrier fighters are doing fine as well. Not really worried about that. Anyone else who's rubber? No. We're trying to repair a lot of ships. That's definitely true. Oh my god, we need more rubber. Let's see. Lost that. And how's that going? 30%? Not bad. Not oh, we're trying... Someone is trying to navally invade us. That is really not good. Alright, so... Detach, detached, select. Yeah, I don't want you to engage at all. Like, just hold. Come, come to the ships. Like... No, don't abort. I just... Don't engage. Like... Oh wait, don't always, oh no, <laughs> don't always engage, do not engage, that's what I want. Nice, some Japanese subs, yeah, you try to navally invade me, using Chinese divisions. Alright, well, oh, okay then, you do you, and I'll, I'll make sure I win, I'll try to win. And we lost, god damn it, another destroyer. <sighs> this is really not good. I'm I'm surprised at how well the AI is now. Like this is ridic, honestly, pretty ridiculous in my opinion. Uh, you're taking too much attrition damage. I need you over here. Let's see. Oh, nice four convoys. At least we got something positive after we lost an another goddamn destroyer. A couple more Japanese convoys sunk. Three planes sunk, and oh my gosh, there's, that's a that's a big fleet. Yeah, seriously. I mean, that's that's a little bit much, Japan. You, how much oil you have right now? That's a little, little bit much. To just do all this? Are you kidding me? Why are they allowed to trade with the Allies? That should definitely not be allowed because they are trading with the Allies. They're trading with British Malaya, Dutch East Indies. They might even be trading with the UK. So that's why I'm not going to join the war in the Axis against the Axis if the UK calls me because well, I'm on their faction first of all, but second of all, uh. It's just not worth it. The war plan orange. Well, I think from here right now, I'm going to do rubber reserve company. We need some more uh, a rubber. What's this? Now, what do we lose this time? Jesus. More attacks. Just, how am I losing this? How am I losing this? Makes no sense. This makes no sense. I can't get planes. I feel like I'm in a terrible position right now. Such a bad position. Oh, it's boss. 
Thank you. Thank you. Japan, you declared war on British Malaya. Thank you very much. Go screw yourself. Now I have to deal with the UK's Navy, if they have one left. Uh, let's see. So, hopefully they'll spread their ships around, because, honestly, the Japanese fleet is very, very powerful. It's ridiculously powerful how much oil they have. That's, I won't say unbalanced, but against people who, oh, whoops, oh, whatever. All right, well, it looks like the Allies are now at war with them, which is fine with me. But it's, this is just a little too ridiculous, to be honest. You shouldn't be able to store up oil for a year, uh, seven years. Ugh. Let's see. Well, it looks like someone's trying to win down here. Uh, that would be very good. Yeah, Venezuela, there's, no, there's nothing I can do. There's literally nothing I can do. These divisions have such bad attrition that I might as well just give up the southern... South, South America. I'm really concerned about this, though. I mean, this is terrifying to me. Mariana region. And I'm still... I don't have enough planes to bomb the enemy ships that are killing my convoys so I can resupply the planes. This is not a very good triangle to be in. Oh, nice. Look at this one Japanese convoy. How many convoys do you have? We have 377. You definitely have triple hours. Jesus. Oh, and they're trying to invade this island, Wake Island. Good. Go kill yourself. Uh, another... God fucking damn it. How are they constantly able to sink all this? We well, sunk 12 enemy destroyers, which is good. But I wish there was a way where you could just tell everyone, just, just repair in Guam. Just repair in uh, this area. But have enough places that I could actually build an area up. Like, why can't I put like 12 naval bases on Guam? It's a military strategic port. It makes no sense. I mean, I've already told some of these places, yeah, don't come here. I mean, I want everyone here in Guam, but there's just not enough naval bases to repair. Look how long this takes. This takes, this is ridiculous. You should be able to build more naval bases here. At this point, I mean, I'm just going to lose my entire fleet. Fuck it. I'm going to tell these guys, no, just select, select all, cancel, just go back home. Go back home. Come to California. Uh, actually, you know, come to here. Yeah, come to LA. That's that's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, you might as well come through my lands. I'm tired of losing ships because of this type of crap. Yeah, that's uh medium. No. Engage at low risk. Uh, oh, another tank division. Good. I'm not going to send you over to here because I don't want any subs to find us. But it seems like we're doing okay now over here. Strike force, patrol group. We do have a patrol group down here. We have an entire patrol group off the eastern seaboard. That'll be good. Ooh, electric torpedo. So torpedo reveal chance. So that would be kind of nice. 1941. Definitely get some more rubber. Because we are dying for rubber right now. And of course we lost three planes. We lost a... Fuck. Oh, God. This is ridiculous. It's just... What? I lost an oh, I lost another sub. Those are kind of expendable. Why are you engaging? Why are you engaging? I already put you on engaged low risk. You shouldn't be engaging at those levels. That makes no sense. Look at these 50 freaking ships. Oh my gosh. Alright, so with the Japan... The Japan... The Japan... The Japanese engage in a war against the Allies. That should maybe use up quite a bit more oil that they have. I mean, I'm going to starve them out for oil at this point. Senator retires, that's fine. Uh, I've got a lot more things on my mind than some stupid senator. Oh, nice. They did a very good job over here. Oh, this definitely helped our tanks out. Could we potentially strike into here? Give the tanks a little bit of a boost. Yes, I know they're not really ready to go. But, regardless... I'm building up a massive airbase here. I need... Well, let's see. Naval bombers. Uh, I don't have any close air support. But you're going to have to help bomb the living shit out of these ships. I need more oil. I just need more oil. Well, no, I mean... Rubber. Rubber me. 
Rubber, oh, rubber, rubber. Ah, oh, you know what? Don't do Kentucky. Do Texas, because Texas doesn't ever have enough rubber or oil. All right. Oh, nice. Sunken enemy convoy. Well, at least we've held the Philippines. We've taken quite a few casualties, but hey, we've held the Philippines. Let's see. Blowing them up, it began. Go. I'm looking at these carriers. 41 Akagi. Huh. 98, 98. Oh, 8% for one of these holes. Awesome. I don't want... I hate losing destroyers. I really hate losing destroyers, but I don't mind losing, you know, planes. Planes are replaceable for the most part. I mean, obviously, we're in a little bit of a rubber deficit. But still... It looks like there's no ships over here, so I might need to send my strike force here and send it to Asia because we do have quite a few screens for this fleet, but it has no battleships. Reserve fleet. Hmm. Who's the reserves up here? Oh, Oregon has a few ships, as well as Florida. Hmm. Well, you know what? Come to Oregon. I want those two combined. Uh, okay, let's see, five, oh, you're in Florida, come on over here, and then combine these two, good, moving to Oregon, awesome, and we're talking to like Japanese convoy, lots of few plans, well, I mean, I guess, in, not really retrospect, but as a consolation prize with all these subs and destroyers and other ships getting negative some of the time so you know oh well let's see I mean just slowly trying to kill whatever's in here with with the minimal amount of planes that we have well at least we have oh what's going on down here that's really not good if anything not bad I mean our guys will hold the islands I'm, I'm more than certain they will hold the islands we've taken this spot awesome good job guys don't move, don't move, don't move. No, 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 no. That's not good for you. Good. And now they're taking some attrition as well, so that's pretty good. They're holding. Oh, well, maybe not. They got defeated. That's not good. Uh, I want to kill this place off. Lead with the tanks. Then lead with you guys. Then lead all seven divisions this way. And then two more divisions from here. I doubt we'll be able to take on eight divisions... I suppose it's worth a try. Oh, nice! We actually did something. We sunk seven enemy destroyers. Awesome. Good job, guys. Moving to assigned region, Philippine Sea, U.S. Pacific Patrol Fleet. Good job, guys. Finally, some good news. Uh, lost a plane. That's fine. Yeah, whatever. Convoys. Oh, we suck, lost a sub, but they lost three planes. It's not really worth it. Uh, let's see. 19, the converted battleship hull is slowly dying, which is good for us. Let's see. What else? Ooh. Convoy. Good. So, is our main battle strike fleet here? Well, we've been very reduced to smaller numbers. I mean, the carriers are still good. The battleships are pretty good, honestly. Uh, heavy cruisers are pretty good. The Octane, California. Make sure this is your home base. And if I tell you to repair, you're repairing right there. Okay, I don't want you to move. Or you can come to San Diego, that's fine. But we definitely need some more destroyers and light cruisers there. Oh. Nice. Convoy was sunk. Seeing some more convoys. Awesome. Uh, they took this land back, which was quite unfortunate. And I don't think we're really winning here. Yeah, we're not. Well, maybe we try again. If first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? Even though I'm pretty sure it won't work. Oh. Nice, sunk an enemy plane, or shot down an enemy plane. We sunk a Japanese carrier! Thank God, we got revenge for what happened to us. So, the Hiru 1936 carrier hull was sunk by the USS New York. Thank God, we got a little bit of revenge here. And we sunk an enemy battleship. Ah, finally, it feels like we did something right in this episode. That feels kind of good. Oh my, man. I mean, I know we've lost quite a few ships, especially a lot of destroyers, like... That's like, that's like my favorite word right now. Tora, Tora, Tora. Naval bombing, targeting, agility, sortie. Oh my god! 
sortie, efficiency, port strikes, and carrier overcrowding. Jesus, 1942, April 1st is when that will be removed. Holy cow. That's insane. That's absolutely nuts. I mean, I've never seen the movie, but I still know that's absolutely nuts. Torah, Torah, Torah. Oh, yeah, get some more. I uh, actually don't really need more fighters. But there's really not much else we can really put in here. I mean, I suppose I could put them over here, actually. And you are... There you go. There you go. Nice. Well, with few... Oh, wait, look at that. The Akagi converted battleship hull is at 0%. So if we strike there again, we might just be able to sink it this time. Yeah, who needs naval battles when we can just strike the enemy's ships in their own ports when they're already damaged and they can't move? Nice, you guys are back. Just don't lose. Uh, six, yeah. Oh my gosh, 16? Hmm. Who's who here? So, you should be guarding this southern portion, huh? Oh, you guys should maybe be able to take these guys out. Maybe. It's not great. Peru definitely has some manpower. Uh, oh no. Oh no, we lost three light cruisers and 18 destroyers. Why are you over here? And only exchange for 13 destroyers? Why? Why? You know what, screw it, you're not engaging anymore. I can't afford that loss. Convoys, good. Lost two, oh, there we go, we sunk another carrier. Super good. Super, super good. Just make sure that the allies do not lose too much of their lands, or at least not the oil-rich regions of the South Pacific. Because that would be very bad for us. What's this? Uh, oh, they can't patrol here. Because they're patrolling elsewhere, or they're repairing. That's really not good. Naval bombers. Uh, I don't want to put too many over here. Do that. I'm going to use whatever I have at the moment to help bomb the living hell out of these enemies. That'll be very good to use. Because they have a massive fleet here. Oh, we've got a few convoy raiders. I mean, oh god, they only have two? That's really not good. Uh, let's see, over here. Combine. And I'm going to go ahead and throw you in there. Throw you into the mix. Uh, excuse me, can I... Add you this way. Come on. There you go. So all of you will be doing this. Engage very lightly. And do that. So we've got at least 10 more subs working around, which will probably die very quickly, but whatever. They're there for a reason. This is really, honestly, a little concerning. Oh my gosh. I know this is probably not going to work. Five versus five. Oh, maybe it will. Maybe it will work. Let's see. We're still making some refineries. That's good. We will end the episode soon. Oh my gosh. Three planes. That's not bad. Three more planes. Okay, I can deal with three planes lost. Convoy sunk. But yada, yada, yada. Enemy battleship. Please. Please blow up the battleship. Oh, there you got four four carriers, huh? Oh, we lost a plane. Alright then. Well, I'm going to call that probably an episode. We are definitely struggling. I'm not going to lie to you guys. We're definitely, definitely struggling. Oh, I lost another Devastator, whatever. Oh, shit, oh, shit man. We are really not doing very well right now. But regardless... We are trying to make some gains here in South America, surprisingly, of all places where we have to attack and defend. Uh, we have, yeah, we definitely made some gains. Uh, next up, tomorrow, we will definitely try basically to do more of the same as we hopefully will starve out Japan more and more of oil, which will be very good if they run out of oil. Then we can just do a ton of damage with them with the few remaining ships that we do have. But... Until then, I will see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like for how much cursing I did this video and how many destroyers I lost. Uh, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you, like I said, tomorrow with a better understanding of the naval meta. Thanks for watching.